everyone. Um, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make such uh, cute uh, jewelry elements. Um, yeah, so this is just a piece of polymer clay and uh, on top of it you see the grains and uh, seeds. That's all. It looks pretty, you know, naturalistic. Although plastic, mm, well, <laughs> You can contribute to our planet pollution a little bit by making such nice charms. Anyway, um, all these uh, uh, topics aside, uh, what we're gonna need is a piece of polymer clay. Um, then to make this um, texture, you know, you can use some just toothpick, or you can use I use this my favorite pen. Which we're gonna need these cutters because you know. Uh, there's no other easy way to cut uh, such a perfect, more or less perfect uh, round shapes from polymer clay. <coughs> and of course the grains and seeds uh, to choose from. So, I uh, kind of, you know, aim <laughs> that I shoot. First I uh, make uh, a slightly visible out. Now, as you can see, I've made this uh, outline here, and the next step, uh, what I do is I apply the polymer clay glue, um, sort of like this, and since it's uh, very thick, uh, and I don't need a lot of it, so next step is, uh, of course, this little things, grains. Um, I just um, push them in a little bit because, you know, if, they if you push them all the way inside or halfway into the clay, it just won't look as um, um, interesting because it will be, it will be lacking, uh, what's the word, relief, you know, shape, dynamic and stuff. So, you just go like this and ding 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 and in just you know half an hour about half an hour you'll be done because this will be your first experiment and then you will learn to do it faster so maybe it will become something you feel the need to do every day and it will be your obsession and then you will go to psychiatrist and he will come up with a new diagnosis for this kind of obsession and then the pharmaceutical mar market will offer us uh, more drugs uh, for all our deviances but hey this is not a video about that I'm just talking rubbish while I'm sort of doing my stuff well let me see how it goes let's just keep it forward Okay, so here we have uh, this sort of circle, and what we do now is we add some texture to it. Mm -hmm. First, uh, go very lightly, you know, not applying a lot of pressure. Then, to add some more dynamics to this, we make some of these holes more visible. Then we have a more intricate or interesting texture design and finally you know a couple or a few of really distinct ones so there you have a more uh, you know deep or dimensional <laughs> kind of look to it so see how you like it best you know. so actually this is not a, you know your regular tool but you know if you have some fantasy you're just uh, using whatever you can find in your home, why not? So, mm, you know, something like a bit of indentations. Or, I don't know, maybe you can skip this step. Uh, it's not really necessary. Uh, oops. Yeah. Then, we need to glue the seeds here. Um, so what I do is I apply a little bit of uh, 
glue on the seat and put it on clay like this. I don't uh, apply a lot of pressure because you can just break the seat and uh, the way it's attached to the clay is mostly with glue. Yeah. Okay, now finally we have this uh, done and um, now the sort of final part is where we cut our form here but you know the problem is sometimes you cannot uh, just you know push it down because it's slightly um, slightly bigger than this form this shape so what I do is I kind of just take one edge and grab one edge you know here and then I uh, first move it a little bit to the opposite side so I can grab the other edge and then um, I push it down so you know kind of slightly and gently and you know like this just okay fine so well, it's pretty easy and I uh, get rid of this we'll probably use it for the other um, such same elements and we kind of take it out now. And I would also suggest you uh, decorate these side areas because otherwise it will look less interesting and finished and it will be just like uh, average plastic on sides. It's not going to be as nice. So you do this. You do that probably if you want the back and um, for our holes for you know for connecting it with other elements right if you're gonna if you intend on wearing it then you make nice holes here ding -da ding -da ding and ding -da ding -da ding and uh, if you don't say to them, to them, to them, your holes will not be perfect. All right, so here we have our final product before uh, before baking, of course. Uh, so two nice holes for attaching it to uh, the jewelry. Uh, you know, anywhere you want. If you want, you can, of course can make just one, but uh, that's your that's your decision. So here we have also a texture on the side and that's basically it uh, then you just put it in the oven I bake them for 15 to 20 minutes at 140 degrees but that's um, that's how this clay works you read your clay specifications for that and I haven't made a necklace uh, yet but I will so uh, this this will be like earrings and by the way I, I, I didn't decorate this side and uh, I regretted it but whatever um, I also uh, where's this thing I also worked with uh, with coffee yesterday and at least here I, I did this you know side texturizing and coffee is great for for this purpose too oh, very nice 